What's up everybody, everything Samsung News here and welcome to episode 2 of Tech News. And well, let's get right into it. A 9 to 5 Mac report broke the news that the new smaller iPhone, until now dubbed iPhone SE 2 or iPhone 9, will actually still just be called the iPhone SE. Expected to be referenced as the 2020 iPhone SE in coverage to try and make it more understandable. 9 to 5 Max report didn't reveal pricing, but suggested storage options at 64 GB, 128 GB, and 256 GB, and three colors: white, black, and red. It's expected to come with the A13 processor from the current iPhone 11, which is now two generations newer than the iPhone 8's A11 chip. Apple Store itself published accessories and Apple Care being offered for the iPhone SE, such as a Belkin case. Both were taken down when spotted, but it's a rare slip from Apple and akin to Samsung's string of accidental or not reveals ahead of its major devices, particularly the recent Samsung Galaxy S20. The leaks show the new iPhone SE won't have Face ID, with Touch ID still the way to authenticate via fingerprint. What we do know is that the iPhone 8 is currently priced at $499 and the original iPhone SE launched at $399. Could we see $399 again? The current iPhone 11 goes for $699 for 64GB and $749 for 128GB. So we could see a similar gap between the 64GB iPhone SE and the 128GB option. That final price positioning will be interesting though. Quick news, COVID-19 pandemic could lead to a 10-year low in smartphone sales. Project Tempo is Amazon's response to Google Stadia and GeForce Now. According to the New York Times, Amazon is investing hundreds of millions of dollars into video game development and an upcoming cloud gaming service codenamed Project Tempo. Content that is being made free by HBO includes The Sopranos, Weep, Ballers, Silicon Valley, True Blood, The Wire, The Lego Movie 2, and Detective Pikachu. It's also making several documentaries free to stream, including The Apollo, True Justice, and Via the Dream. And lastly, NASA brings back its iconic worm logo to mark the return of human spaceflight. The space agency said the retro looking logo will be stamped on the side of the Falcon 9 rocket that will carry astronauts to the International Space Station as part of SpaceX's Demo 2 flight, presently scheduled for mid to late May. NASA says there's a good chance you'll see the logo featured in other missions too. So what do you think about the upcoming iPhone 9 and be sure to tell me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then you have the choice to continue watching one of these two videos, so decide wisely. Anyways, that's been today's video, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then please hit that like button and that subscribe button for more daily top notch tech videos. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you have an awesome day and until tomorrow, goodbye.